it's Lee with Emeralds and Fairy Lights and we're here for Merry Monday unboxings. This is part of Jingle Drills that I am hosting with Crafting with Shay. It's a community um, event that's celebrating all of the holidays in the season as well as just, just winter in general. And um, on Mondays we are doing unboxings. And today I have a special unboxing. This is from Die Moon Shop. And you guys, I have to tell you right off the bat that I'm so excited and I haven't wanted to open this package. And the reason being is kind of silly. I'll just put it right out there, okay? It's really kind of silly. But I love this wrapping paper and this emerald green bow. Um, I was one of those people that was like watch I watched the Die Moon shop like the Instagram of when they their packages you know they're wrapping and I was I thought I was being so smart like I kept saying on whenever they use this wrapping paper like I love your wrapping paper <laughs> nothing to do with the diamond paintings so I don't know if they finally um caught on to my um just asking and asking for this wrapping of my package and they finally were like we better send this because I'm pretty sure in the group of packages that got sent um they were green but none of them had this wrapping but mine <laughs> so thank you Diamond Chub if you're watching this and if you did do that for me because seriously you guys I love this green wrapping paper okay that's probably not what you came here for though. Okay, I'm sorry guys. <laughs> so, um, first off, I do have to let you guys know, I know like to, people like to know at the beginning of these videos that I am an affiliate for Dime Moon Shop. Um, I am only an affiliate for companies that I really do like their products and would recommend. And, um, I, but I will still be very honest with you and let you guys know, but I want to let you know before while I'm opening it up because I know some people feel like if they, if you say it at the end, it's like disingenuous or something, you know, so I just want to let you know if you do want to use my code, there's various different offers, but it's E-M-E-R-A-L-D-S, um, Emeralds, and I think I actually have a coupon. I think it might still be good. I'm going to verify with them. But I think you can get free shipping on your first purchase with my code Emeralds New. That's E M E R A L D S N E W. Um, so if you're looking to um, first time purchase and the shipping is something that's getting in your way, that is the perfect thing to do. It just helps me make a small commission that goes back into the channel so I can order lovely paintings to show you guys and work on and do them so you can see them finished. Um, if you followed along in my channel at all, I've done quite a few small paintings um, to, to check to see the smallest rendering and I've done some different things. So if you ever have any questions about certain companies paintings or sizes or anything like that, just let me know and I will consider it in my next um, purchase. Now, these were purchased with my own money, so. Oh, guys, I really don't want to ruin this ribbon and wrapping, but I don't know what else I'd do with it, but it's, I think I'll save a little bit of it. I'll put it in my, my log book as a memory of this beautiful <laughs> wrapping. You guys are probably like, she's more excited about the wrapping than her painting. And it's not, not necessarily untrue, um, I am excited about these paintings, but I'm also excited about the wrapping paper. Okay. Um, so Dime Moon Shop, and they, if, if you're wondering if it just came in that wrapping paper and that's all, um, no, no, there, there's, there's a protective wrapping around that. I just usually take it off before just because it has like all my information on it and it is a clear plastic so I can get that off and then, um, I can let you guys see the beautiful package underneath. Did you guys get anything from the Black Friday sales that they just did? They had an amazing sale going on that was 20% off. I didn't get anything. Um, because I have some fun paintings right now that I will show you guys. One of them is really cute and I'm thinking that I'd really like to do it right now um, for the Jingle Drills event. So inside this um, 
corrugated cardboard that they have then. Again, we've got a little bit more of this lovely wrapping paper. And um, then let's look at our kits. So there were four kits in this order. And these four kits, I'll be honest, have just been on my wish list for a while. And I feel like I kind of just, um, you know, hit the plug knowing that Jingle Joes was coming up as well as Alice in Winter Wonderland event that's hosted by Life with Lindsay. Um, and so I got some paintings for that. I'm excited to look at these. <laughs> I can tell these roll out. Okay. Oh my goodness. I'm so excited. I love civil art. <laughs> I really do. And I, I want to get more of her artwork. Um, a lot of them have like white backgrounds though. And that scares me. This one looks like it's not so bad. But I did see somebody lately that did a civil art with a white background and they actually just changed it up. And I'm like, I, I could do that. Um, okay. So inside this one right here, I like that they put this in the center. Then it kind of helps to like roll the, the diamond canvases around it so they don't get squished. And they're like, they're, they're rolled well, you know, like I do actually think that it help, it makes the packaging really nice. We have got our drills and all of our stuff here. Um, so I do really like that they're including this card that says um, it gives you some information on ABs. I think this is really helpful for people that are working, like that are starting out on ABs and enhancing your paintings. It lets you know kind of like dark and light colors and um, what you can kind of do with them. They do always then include a little gift with stickers and it looks like, mm, I got a cupcake in there. <laughs> the first thing that I see is the, the pastry, the cupcake, because I love cupcakes. And then this, it, am I missing something? Is this like a symbol? I don't know, it kind of reminds me of like a ghost. I don't know. And then I've got a girl, but these kind of both look like light, like the electrical parade sort of thing, neat. It's always fun because they're so random. You never know what stickers you're going to get. Um, I believe these are the toolkits. So um, you can. <laughs> um, you can ask to not get these kits. And I always forget, but I have it like on a note to remember the next time to not, but this is always good to just show you guys. You get these kind of white boats and then you do get a bunch of these, um, wax boats. You get a whole bunch of pens and tweezers and you get a whole bunch of multi-placers too. Um, I think I've gotten a mix, but the by far the most common one that I've gotten is a seven placer. So I think this one might just be, yeah. So these ones, I think they're all the same again. And it kind of seems to be just like, depending on how many kits you get at one time. Now, um, shipping is so expensive from Diamond Shop that that's typically, I, I purchase when I'm getting multiple kits. Um, I can't justify the shipping with one painting. Um, we've got the drills here. Okay, well, let's just go. You know what? Let's do the painting that's the Jingle Drills one first. And I really don't want this. I've already taken so much time on this because, guys, I was obsessed with that wrapping. Okay, let's look at it. Now, if you could tell... Already, these paintings are laying super flat. They have transitioned to this really lovely velvety um, backing on their canvases. They are also um, scalloped and they have like these um, this is it, needle points so that um, it doesn't fray, which is really nice. Um, the, I would say that these are the canvas, if you're looking for a comparison, is very comparable to Diamond Art Club's feeling of a soft canvas. 
Um, they do have a sparkly um, on the front of the camage, but on the camage, <laughs> the canvas. Um, and look at all of that lovely color blocking. I love color blocking. Um, and so I love when I see color blocking. Um, and um, if you're familiar with Diamond or with um, Diamond Chop, they have a lot of confetti. So there is some confetti, but that's a good amount of color blocking um, in this canvas. Okay, this one is called Cute Panda by, I'm going to say the name wrong, but it's Daria Krup, Krup, Krupkina. I thought this one was so stinking cute the minute that I saw it. Um, and I wanted to get it, but I kind of kept going back and forth whether I wanted to get it in rounds or squares or what size. And um, I eventually got it in the 40 by 57 centimeter in round. And it looks like there are 35 colors. So on the canvas, you do get this nice legend on the side with your symbols. I see the number that matches up. So lovely. <laughs> Um, I always like it when the legend matches up if they use a, a letter or a number for the symbol. I'm really sorry, guys. This unboxing is just all over the place. But I hope you're having fun with it. Um, okay, let's look at these drills. They, If, if you're unaware, um, that, di that Dye Moon Shop has really, um, really upped their quality they've had a revamp of their their canvases and their drills um you should really give them a try um i can tell you there's like almost a night and day difference between their old canvases and the new canvases i have worked and completed um both types of canvases okay so <laughs> my camera shut off like midway and i was like panicking because i thought maybe I lost all the footage from before and um, thankfully it showed up after like it, sometimes that happens if you wait a little bit it showed up okay so I was just about to show you the drills um, there I, and I've moved this over just a little bit so you're not getting so much of the glare um, from my overhead lights I can't really do very much about that um, but um, we do get a legend that's on a paper it lets you know um, the symbols and they are putting this on a little bit of thicker paper so it's not it's looking a lot better um, the symbol clarity there and then um, you've got your DMC's as well as the amount of drills which is nice now um, this this legend I I've actually just been copying the one that's on the canvas and making stickers out of it because they're so much clearer and they're so close to the symbol so it's easier to do it that way. Um, let's look at these drills. So we have got lots of grays, a few colors. So um, then you have this black AB. So one of the neat things that they're doing now is including ABs in all of their kits. And what I think is really cool about it is that they are actually including an AB. Um, but they're also including the regular drill. Um, so when you when you're working on the kit, you can decide what you want to do. Um, I I've mentioned before I'm not the biggest fan of the 310. I kind of call them fly eyes. That's kind of what they remind me of. But um, and I just love 310. Like I think it's majestic. It's stunning. I love the 310 drills. Um, so when you're looking at this panda, um, you can see that that, that that black color is going to be right here in the darker parts of the panda. And um, I think that it'll be really pretty with the 310s. Now, if you like the 310s AB, um, totally, that's cool. Go ahead and do it. I think that'll be pretty. Um, one thing that I was thinking that I wanted to do with this kit um, was... Um, 
do a few things. So one of the reasons that I wanted to do this in a round was because I have some drills already, some crystals and some fun color changing drills that I thought I could add in these um, red bulbs and as well as in the yellow ones. Now, um, these, these other bulbs are not, I was going to check and see, let's look and see what the color is that they're going to be. It looks like it's 3768. So let's see. So it's going to be this color, which is, is actually a lot bluer than it looks like on the canvas. Um, let's see, this one's going to be a, which is 645. Um, which is this color right here. Now, um, for me, just based off the original image, I didn't really like the, the colors that they had on these other lights. Um, just me personally, I wanted something more bright and vibrant. And so, um, what I was thinking of actually doing is making the string maybe um, something have a little bit of sparkle to it. But not only that, I'm thinking of changing these ones into a darker green or a more vibrant green and blue um, light. And I was thinking I could do that with AVs or crystals. I think that would be really fun to do with this one. Um, and let's see. Oh, and the other thing I was thinking is adding um, I think some sparkles into the background to make it kind of look like snow. I think that would be a really fun addition for this kit. I keep moving it so you can kind of get a view without the, the glare. I'm sorry about that. But I think this one is going to be really cute. Um, let me know what you guys think. Okay, let's move on to Alice. Now this is one that I have like wanted since I saw, I, I first, you know, came across Diamond Shop. And um, I just couldn't decide what I wanted to do, what size. Um, I eventually, I got it in the 42 by 60 centimeter and this one is the medium size. Um, I'm curious to see how this rendering will be. This is the image. And I just love civil arts paintings. Um, I, I just really wanna do more of them. The one thing that kind of scares me about a lot of her paintings is the white backgrounds that I think always kind of um, are not the funnest to do with drills because they don't always turn out the best. This one does not look like it's gonna be a problem. It is actually quite confetti heavy. I think it actually spells book there a couple times. Um, let me know if you see that too, but <laughs> with the symbols. Um, and I think this one is gonna be really, um, really neat. Now, this is the one I um, got in advance. I'm thinking of doing this one for the Alice in Winter Wonderland event that's being um, hosted in January by Life with Lindsay. I'll link her channel below. Um, let's get her drills. So here are her drills. But Lindsay does um, an event in the beginning of the year called Alice in Winter Wonderland that is so fun. Um, and so I've been getting some Alice, different Alice things that I think would be really fun. And I got two pieces that have been on my long time, long time wish list. Um, this one. will be between this Alice and the Margaret Morales Alice that I actually already got, but um, I've never put that unboxing up. So I may still yet. We have got the... Um, the legend. This is actually printed printed very clearly. And it looks like um, it actually went on to the next page. So it kind of cut off right there at the bottom and it continued on the next page. Um, this one is going to have a light pink AB. It's going to be this 819. Um, and that one is going to fall in her, in her, is that like her, why can't I think, apron that's on her dress or is it just part of her dress? Um, it'll, it will be sprinkled if you use it on the, it's the symbol D. It'll be sprinkled and I think that could be really pretty. It'll be up here all in the white parts and also on the white rabbit who's so cute. Um, and then it will actually be parts of her eyes 
you can see that. So um, I don't know that I'm a fan of putting that in the dress so much, but I do think, um, because what I was thinking I wanted to emphasize in this painting was, I think it might be cool to do like a red AB in this heart that's on her skirt or her whatever, I can't decide her apron. Um, and I do think that um, some, there, you do probably want to do something with the white rabbit that's so cute. Um, I, I don't know if I would do, I might, I would maybe put them in the white rabbit, but maybe not the dress, but I don't know. Let me know what you guys think as far as this one goes. I think this one will be really pretty. Um, there are huge sections at the top I can see of color blocking. You can see all those A's. But I do think this one is actually going to be quite confetti heavy. Um, yeah, I think I also, I wonder about putting a little bit of like um, some blue in her, in the parts of her dress, if that would be pretty. And then I do like her, this light color in her eye. I wonder if you got like a mint, like a mint sort of AB in her eye. But... I guess we'll just have to see. Okay, let's move on. <laughs> so this unboxing doesn't take all day. Um, okay, so this is another one that I've wanted since like day one of my Dye Moon Shop browsing. This is the Cheshire Cat. And if you see my channel at all, I do really love the pink and purple Cheshire Cat. So this Medusa doll maker was just gorgeous. Um, this is the medium size as well. It's a 50 by 70. Um, centimeter and it is round. Let's look at the legend. We've got a number that doesn't match up, but it's okay. All looks very clear. Let's look at um, the drill filled because I don't know if you looked at the last one. I really debated about getting this one in squares or rounds. Um, in the end, I went with rounds just because, as you guys know, it's a little bit more expensive at Dye Moon Shop to get the squares. And the um, I just wanted to make sure that the, 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 the print in this would look, you could read it. Um, so I think you can definitely read in this size mad here. Um, and all, and we are. Now what I was planning to do, cause I was like looking at the size, I didn't um, want to get the huge massive size. I just, like, I've, I've been wanting to just not get everything in the biggest size possible just because I like, you know, to be able to work on multiple kits. Um, but I was thinking I could easily firm this, this writing up and make it like, like make it pop, you know? Um, I feel like just adding some darker drills in there and I guess we'll even see, but I think that would be something really easy to fix and make, um, it look very legible and clear. Um, this is your tool or your drills. Got a little friend hanging out in the 550. I think that's 550. And so these are your colors. And it looks like the AB that we have is a yellow. So let's go ahead and look at that. Now I do have to say that um, it's nice that they're in these bags. With the round drills, I found that their bags are a little bit thicker than your average um, bag. And so they don't run, I haven't run into the static issue that I have with other kits that come in bags. Now, this is only for the rounds. I have to preface that by saying that was only for the round kits. I did do a square diamond shop kit that I had a lot of static, but you kind of get that with drills and bags. Okay, this one is like super mega taped up there. Okay, we're just gonna look at this. What a cool and neat image, I think. Um, so it looks like it's 3078 is the color, and that will be the symbol T. And the symbol T 
is, um, I'll pull it out for you if I can get to it. This yellow right here is going to be um, in the ruffles of the cat in the clock down here. This big section right here is T's. Um, and then um, the, the, the banners are, are a, a bunch of T's and there's gonna be some in his tail. So I can imagine if you wanted to use the AB, you might put some of it in the clock and maybe some in the ruffles and in the banner, but then I wouldn't put it in the tail and the banner so that you could kind of distinguish. Um, and then there is like the star up at the top. Is that a star? I think it's kind of like a star up there, but that has some of that yellow AB as well. I think there's lots of fun things that you could do with this, this kitty cat <laughs> um, as far as adding in some um, like fun things on the moon on the head. Um, part of me wants to, if you can see the greens right here, part of me wants to make the colors more vibrant in this one, but that would be a lot of work. And I don't think that this is necessarily not good colors. You know what I mean? Like I, part of, part of me always wants to make the greens like 700 or 699 or 3818. And I know that's, that's kind of like a little extra for a lot of the greens to blend in with everything. They need to be these, these kind of colors. So um, anyway, yeah, let me know what you guys, um, would do with this kit and if this is one that you would be interested in there are 35 colors in this one I said i'm not being the best at unboxing today i apologize guys and then i got totally put off when um <laughs> i thought it had i lost everything i'd recorded so um this let me see if i can adjust okay i don't know that i can adjust because this is one huge mama jama this is a 60 by 92 centimeter, and this is called Night Owl by Margaret Morales. I absolutely loved this one. Um, I loved the owls in the background. I think they're this, this owl face is so cute, but funny. Um, also, I happen to just be a night owl myself, and so... Um, I loved it and I just think there's something really fun about it. I think this could even be, this kind of does make me feel a little bit like it's in the winter because you've got the owls and the dark blues. Of course though, she's not really dressed like she's in cold weather so I don't know that it's too much of winter. But hey, some places don't have super cold at winter time, right? I don't know. I don't know where I'm going with this. So this one I did actually get in a square. There are 38 colors. And let's look at these drills. Now, um, I did talk to Reggie and I confirmed that their drills are a high quality acrylic drill. I can confirm to you that in using them, they were super shiny and gorgeous. They worked, they fit really well. I didn't find a lot of pieces that had little um, knobs or anything like that. Like I'm just trying to look over these. I did find some amounts of trash. If you want to see my review of um, the Dark Lilith that I did in squares just recently with their new drills, um, I did I did really actually enjoy working with their square drills though. Um, as opposed to, um, I did a, a square painting a while back and I was like, I don't think I can ever do another square again, to be honest, from Time Moon Shop. And then they totally revamped. Um, they've got a new drill, they've got new drills, like new drill supplier and everything. And now I absolutely um, want to do more squares from Dime Moon Shop. Um, there's just the premium cost that's stopping me from getting more squares. But I thought this one was just pretty enough and looked like it deserved <laughs> to be done in squares. <laughs> Um, let's look at the, 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 I guess the filled, the drill filled. That looks very clear to me. Now, if you do see this line right here that's in it, that is just because they're using two strips of plastic to cover it. Let's check the sticky. 
Um, yeah, that feels very sticky right there. Um, I think this one is going to be super pretty. Okay, now let's look. There are um, ABs in this kit as well. And it looks like the AB that we got is this 666. Now this one is taped just as much as the other one, and so I'm not going to get into it. Um, but let's look and see. So that is the symbol 9. And the base basically the only place I see it other than a few points right here that are accent colors which I probably wouldn't use it in um I see it in her lips very very strongly in her lips and I think that would be pretty that would be very pretty to have that um AB right there on her hold up for you on her lips um So um, the one thing that I am a little curious about is just the um, accenting with the 819 drill. I'm pretty sure, or 815, that is going to be a lot of this, this red right here. Um, and so in some of my other dye moon shops, I've kind of um, been switching that out for a different color because that is pretty dark around the eyes. Um, but I'm considering just going through and doing the painting with the actual red accent and seeing how it looks when finished because I kind of get the feeling that these are, you know, I mean, obviously it's going to look, you need to take a step away to kind of look at it and then all the colors come into place. Um, there's some fun things I think you can do with this one. I think you could get, do definitely some gold up here. Um, they're making so many new cool square drills and they've now got metallics and so I think you could do a gold metallic. I think you could do something really pretty in her eyes. I don't know about like maybe a crystal but like um, a light yellow or brownish crystal in her eyes I think would be really pretty and um, I do think that the owls could use like maybe some um, light in there, especially this white one, maybe some, some ABs in it. And yeah, I just think, you know, it's like, um, is that right there? Uh, is that a leaf that's falling? Um, but she does have this pretty like bracelet right here. And I think that could have some ABs in it. It looks like that's a T and it's 762, which is this one right here. Um, which will be a light one and you can you can find that AB pretty easily. So that actually might be a pretty one to replace with ABs. Um, I think you can see it in the wider parts of the wrist right here and in some of the wider areas of the dress and then as well as some of the wider areas of the owls. And I almost wonder if that's something that I just order in advance and plan on like swapping that out. Um, Anyway, let me know what you guys think about these kits. I think they're gorgeous. Again, I'll try to move it so you don't get such a glare on it, but I'm really excited. These are all kits that I've had on my wish list for a long time, and I finally just said I'm doing it, and I did it. So um, I hope you guys have an awesome Monday. You get some fun time to um, diamond paint, and I will see you guys in another video. Bye! Thank you.